Lugia V-Star is, uh, how should I put this? Really, really good. And one of the things that makes Lugia V-Star such a difficult deck to play against is the fact that it can accelerate up to four special energy from the deck into play as early as the second turn of the game. With Aurora energy, this means that you can accelerate energy onto any Pokemon and perform nearly any attack on turn two. Whether it's amazing Eveltal's amazing destruction attack, which instantly KOs the defending Pokemon, or amazing Raikou's amazing shot attack, which does 120 damage to the active and 120 damage to the bench, or even Stoutland V's double dip fangs attack, which can take a bonus prize if it takes a knockout on a basic Pokemon. This deck has got a ton of options and is an absolute menace in standard format right now. I'm stoked to show it off in action, but before we get to it, let's head over to fullgripgames.com. The 2022 holiday sale is live now at fullgripgames.com. We've got some huge discounts on sealed Pokemon TCG products like Elite Trainer Boxes, Collection Boxes, and even Booster Boxes. You won't want to miss out on our holiday sale, so make sure to head over to fullgripgames.com and check out all of the amazing deals now. Thank you so much for shopping at FullGripGames.com. Shopping at Full Grip directly supports the content that I create here on Tricky Gym. Now, let's check out that Lugia deck. This deck is so good, it feels wrong, okay? Accelerating four special energy from the deck to your Pokemon every turn should be illegal. But thanks to Archaeops and Lugia V-Star, it's not. Lugia V-Star has the incredible Summoning Star V-Star power, which allows you to place up to two colorless Pokemon that don't have a rule box from your discard pile straight onto your bench. You can use this V-Star power to get Archaeops into play quickly and consistently. Archaeops has the Primal Turbo ability, which allows you to search your deck for up to two special energy cards and attach them to one of your Pokemon. So with two Archaeops in the discard pile on turn two, you can Summoning Star, get two Archaeops into play, and then you are accelerating four special energy to your Pokemon every turn for the rest of the game. It's completely busted. And with Aurora energy and powerful colorless energy and all these other crazy special energy we have in the deck, your options are nearly unlimited. If you wanna knock out two Pokemon at the same time, you can use Raikou's amazing shots attack. If you wanna take an extra prize while knocking out a small basic Pokemon, Stoutland V's Double Dip Fangs does 40 damage, but with powerful colorless energy, it can do up to 120 damage, easily taking bonus prizes against Sobbles, Comfies, Sableyes, and even Cramorants. If you want to do 280 damage with a Choice Belt, Radiant Charizard can easily get in there with Combustion Blast. And if you want to knock out the biggest Pokemon in the Pokemon TCG, Uveltal's Amazing Destruction, which usually is impossible to pay for, is no problem for Archaeops, which can easily accelerate three Aurora Energy and a double Turbo Energy to instantly KO the defending Pokemon. This deck is downright treacherous. Let me know, do you love Lugia V-Star or are you already sick of it? Let me know what you think in the comments below and check out the gameplay ahead. I'm playing against a Lost Box deck with my Lugias. We've got a great opening hand with two powerful colorless energy and two Lugia V. Looks like I might be playing against Giratina V Star over here with the Lost Box engine. They are going first, so they've got a you know a couple of confi. They're going to be able to get a good amount of cards into the Lost Zone on turn one. I do wish I was going first, but you know. That's how it goes sometimes. Pretty sure they cannot flower selecting. Didn't you like retreat that or switch or something? They've got a Rangaroo and Radiant Greninja. Sure. Sure. 
But I think, um, oh, they can flower selecting. They must have, oh, they used scoop of net. I thought they retreated. And they've got battle VIP pass. So they can go get Cramorant and Giratina. Now we're ready to go. Okay. So I've got two powerful colorless energy. We have to kind of ask ourselves, what do we want to do in this opening? They have not left bench space for a Manaphy, so Raikou could be quite good. I think then what we want to do is Evolution Incense for an Archaeops. And then Ultra Ball away. Probably the Archaeops and a powerful colorless energy to go get another Archaeops. Bench this powerful colorless energy to the Lugia. And I'll read the wind to the Archaeops. I didn't necessarily want to bench the Raikou turn one because I think I might be able to pull a fast one on them with the Raikou if I just don't reveal it yet because they have not benched a Manaphy. They might not even play a Manaphy. So I'm kind of relying on that Raikou for a surprise play. I've got the Lugia V-Star in my hand with that Evolution Incense. So I can play that, get Lugia V-Star, pop two Archaeops onto my bench, and I've got the Aurora Energy in my hand. I can attach to the Raikou, and we'll be able to charge to Raikou with one Primal Turbo and retreat the Lugia with my other Primal Turbo. They're going to escape rope up this Lugia. That's fine with me. Now, if we're thinking about what Pokemon we actually prefer to knock out. Yeah, what Pokemon do we want to knock out on my opponent's side of the board? They've got Mirage Gate. Okay. Do they have the Giratina V-Star? They they got the turn two Giratina V-Star Mirage Gate. I mean, I guess they got it all like that. That would be... Holy smokes. All right. I guess they do. Okay. They've got turn two Giratina V-Star going first. So that's not great. But it's fine. I was thinking that Raikou would be... They might... Oh, they do have the switch. Yeah, okay. So we got a little bit to think about. I mean, I can just knock this out with a amazing Eveltal, which is kind of crazy. But yeah, we could just do that, <clears throat> which would be kind of nutso. They're going to take the two prizes. That's fine. We've got Quick Ball off the top. So we need to retreat the Lugia. Let's take a peek at the deck with Evolution Incense. We can get this. There's the Amazing Eveltal right there. We've got three Aurora Energy and a Double Turbo Energy in the deck. So we have everything we need to do to just pop this dude with Amazing Eveltal. So we're going to do it. Let's go... Capture energy to get the Eveltal. Summoning star. Get these two guys. Primal turbo. Yeah. And then I do the other aura and the double turbo energy. So I can still attack with Raikou next turn. So I'm going to hold this hand. Yep, we're going to do that. 
going to bench that. We're going to do this. Uh, can I attack with Raikou? No, Raikou is done. I cannot attack with Raikou. Oh, that's a misplay then. I would need a lightning. Oh, we do the fire. Yes, and then I can attack with Raikou. Yes, 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 yes. Don't be bad. Very good. Okay, we do that. Okay. And then we'll retreat into the evil tall. And we smack him with the amazing destruction to knock him out. And what's crazy is that... Yeah, that's why... This is why Lugia is just like... Lugia and Giratina are like two of the only decks in the format. Because... Yeah, they got the turn to... The turn to Lost Impact. Cool. I got the turn to Amazing Destruction. <laughs> like, what? You know? It's like, it just doesn't matter. You know? Literally. It's like... Boom, 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 boom. Game. That's it. That's standard. Yeah, the good decks are just broken. They're so broken. You just have to be able to operate. Your deck has to be able to respond to the worst case scenario, like turn two every single time. And Lugia's Summoning Star, getting two Archeops into play, allows you to untap your entire deck on turn two. Because once you use Summoning Star, you're able to just start using Primal Turbo to just vomit energy into play. They've got Spit Innocently for the knockouts, but now I've got Amazing Raikou, so long as I don't Top Deck an Aurora or Speed Lightning, and we don't. So I can attach the Aurora here, discard the Archeops, Primal Turbo, and go get the Aurora and the Speed Lightning energy and then I can just save this arena. It's like, I don't even need anything, dude. It's so ridiculous. I don't even have to play these supporter cards in my hands, man. It's that crazy. Like, there we go. Amazing shot. Isn't this crazy? Like, this is nuts. I'm like, all right, I took turn two prizes on turn two. I'm taking two prizes on turn three. Bada boom, bada bing. That's about it. It's all we need to do. I want to save this hand because I've got the Serena already in it. So I don't need to play that research. Because I've already got Lugia here, right? So like I wait and I see... I wait and I see what my opponent, you know, is going to do. Are they going to bench a Giratina again. If they do, then I will gust it up and knock it out. If they don't do that, then I could Amazing Shot again. I mean, they have to knock out the Raikou, right? But they probably have to get a Cramorant back in order to do that. And there's the Giratina. It's the reason that I held the Serena in my hand. I've already got double Archeops, so it doesn't matter. Playing the research is actually, like, uh, could be worse for me because I could draw into all my special energy or something. So we just want to keep this hand with no energy in it. They have to bench double Giratina. And keep in mind, my opponent went first and got the turn to lost impact on a Lugia and we are still poised to win this game on turn four, right? It's crazy. It's like that. The turn four win against a deck that popped off that hard. It's, it's crazy. I got the spit innocently on the Raikou. And then we send up Lugia. Who can seal the deal? We just go Primal Turbo. And it's there's no defense. There it is. Primal Turbo. Primal Turbo. Serena. GG's. That's it. The four-turn win. Lugia is a broken deck. Yeah, and get your training cord out of there.
<laughs> GG's, mate. GG's. Looks like I'm playing against a Lost Box deck, and I got six mulligans to start this game. Boy, somebody hold me back. My opening hand is broken. We've got Ultra Ball, get two Archaeops into the discard pile on turn one. Feels good, man. We're going to get this Lugia right there, and then I'm also thinking that maybe I want to attach an energy to my active... Dunspar so that I can retreat it next turn. I'm thinking speed lightning energy on the Dunspars. Everything here looks smooth sailing. So we're just going to pass. It's a glorious, glorious opening. I'm ready for... I'm ready to party turn two. I'm talking we can turn to Stoutland for two prizes on the Comfy. We can turn to Amazing Raikou. They might knock out my Dunsparce on turn one, is true. They've got Fog Crystal, so they might do that. If they do that, then I can still go double turbo energy onto the Lugia, Retreat, Amazing Raikou, boom, and do it that way. We've still got some options. I can still go... Uh, can I... Hmm, can I... Can I do that? Yes, I can do that. Yeah, so long as there's an Aurora Energy in my deck, I can still do the amazing Raikou play on turn two. Maybe Powerful Colorless to Lugia was the best play, but it's all good. I could have saved the Speed Lightning Energy, but we still got the Aurora Energy in my hand. Which is fine. It's good. They're cooking. They're getting cards in the Lost Zone. They're moving here. They're anxious to get things going. But I've got plays. Now, the most frustrating play they could make would be if they get Manaphy down and knock out my Dunsparce with Cramorant. All right. They're going to bring up Lugia. That's fine. My Dunsparce is just going to sit here bravely holding that Speed Lightning energy. extraordinarily bravely like look you got dang bro seven cards in the lost zone turn one slow down there slow down all right they're just gonna pass which is fine with me so here's what we're gonna do take a look at my deck we've got lugia we've got stoutland i've got two powerful colorless energy in the deck do I have my double turbo? Of course I do. All right. So I'm going to take two prizes on this confi. Let's summoning star get both these guys. And we will quick ball away the choice belt. I do not need that card. And we'll go get Big Daddy Stoutland. Yes. With Stoutland... I can Primal Turbo this and that onto my Lugia. Yep. And then we will Primal Turbo. I think I want one powerful colorless energy and a capture onto my Stoutland. And then... Stoutland coming in hot. Boom. Yeah, I haven't even played a supporter yet. It's fine. <sighs> I suppose I'll play a supporter card. I can Serena. But I don't even really want to. The Ultra Ball is pretty good, so... Let's just... I guess I do want to play a supporter card because I would like to find a boss's order so that I can... Double dip twice, you know? That would be the real sick nasty. So, I think that we just thin... I think we just research. I don't even need... Like, we just want boss's orders next turn. That's all we want. We're not going to need the Sea Belt Toll. Or we want... And we can research. Or we want... uh 
collapsed, right? So here's what we do. We've got the Lugia, and then we go, no, not collapsed. We hold, we double dip fangs, two prizes, and then we boss his orders next turn for two more prizes. Isn't that nice? Isn't that nice? He's a good dog. <laughs> He's good. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. Yeah, you lost two prizes. You're playing a single prize deck. But you lost two prizes on the second turn of the game. You got to play one turn, and I understand, honestly. Yeah, I get it. I wouldn't want to play either. All right, we're playing a Lugia Mirror against Trevor. I've got two Lugia V and an Evolution Incense I can use to get another Archaeops. We can get one Archaeops into the discard pile turn one. But I am a little bit dependent on a nice top deck right now because I didn't open the strongest hand. It's fine, though. I can't always read the wind turn two to discard the Archaeops from my hand and draw three cards. Trevor's got a research. God, I wish that were me. A research, a quick ball, an ultra ball. There's a lot of outs. Serena, Marnie, a lot of, a lot of outs. A lot of live cards in my deck. Got choice belt instead. That's fine. We're going to attach double turbo energy and read the wind to discard Archaeops and draw some cards. And there's those good cards that I knew that were right on the top of my deck. So Trevor's going to get the first knockout, but I've got some options that we can go for. He's definitely knocking out this Lugia. And there's a reason I attached the double turbo energy to the Lugia. It's so that I could retreat it into another attacker if I need to. It's definitely an intimidating board, but it's fine. We've got the sauce. I can knock out this Bibarel real quick. I would like to top deck a quick ball or something. That would be quite good. Yeah, quick ball, something so that I can use this choice belt to actually go in and take a knockout with the amazing Raikou. I'm going to get Marnie, though, which is, oh boy, it's fine. We've already got our two Archaeops in the discard pile, just need my deck to cooperate. Luminion is good. Charizard is going to be important. And let's think about what our attacker is going to be. There's no All right, this Lugia is getting powered up to take one hit KOs. There's no V Guard energy on this Lugia right now, so that's fine. They can hit through the V Guard energy to take one hit KO if they get everything that they need. So we've got Charizard. We know we're going to want Charizard at some point. It's a given. And then I could Ultra Ball That's fine. Do I want to Marnie? Marnie just seems like such a weak 
supporter when I'm like really in a tough spot. I feel like I just need to research and draw. So we're gonna ultra ball for Got the two Archaeops in my deck. That's fine. We go for the Evelto Amazing Destruction. Evelto's Amazing Destruction could just, yeah, probably be the easiest way to take this knockout. So we probably do that. But I do need to find a. Lugia V Star off of this. Okay. So we got Lugia V Star and we Summoning Star. So we're gonna do these two. And then I always forget I can I can attack with Charizard right now. <laughs> yeah. So taking two prizes. So it only needs three energy. Okay. That's fine. We're going here. And we'll Primal Turbo again. Get the capture energy onto the Charizard. We'll go here. We'll Collapse Stadium. That's actually an ugly collapse for them. Yeah, they don't like that. Because I'm forcing them to discard an Archaeops. Probably Archaeops is what they pick. It doesn't feel good, but it's probably what they do. That or Bieberel, like depending on how good their hand is, right? And then we retreat into Charizard, and we can Combustion Blast for our two prizes to get right back in the game. So that feels pretty good. Find a powerful colorless energy and another choice belt. It's great. So now they've got their Charizard, right? And Charizard can respond to Charizard, which is kind of crazy. Crazy, crazy. Now let's think about the energies that I've got left in the deck. I don't think that I have enough energies to attack with Raikou and Amazing Eveltal. So I'm thinking it's going to be an Amazing Eveltal kind of game. Now, if we think about the energy that I have expended. Yeah, this mirror is getting really funky. For sure. Oh, and the, the Charizard's got 180 hit points, which is kind of hilarious. It's fine. The Charizard can do enough. It's definitely going to be a resource battle. Trevor's going to take... Oh, okay, I'm going to knock out my Lugia with his Charizard. So this is now interesting because he's going to go down to two prizes remaining. So now what I want to do is he's got only two prizes left because of that gust on my Lugia. So then... I've got four prizes left to take. Can I do it? Is it possible? Huh. I might be out of it. Might be out of it. The Raikou doesn't do anything. Lugia can't put it into play. I can't put any two prizes into play. Oh, yes, I can. I can win with Raikou. Okay. So, because I just take. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's how we do it. Okay. I can take three prizes with Raikou. Right. So, what I need to do is knock out this Charizard. I need to attach this powerful colorless to Archaeops. 
and I need to thin my deck more. So we can get Yeah, fail it. That's fine. Primal Turbo. I just need to thin my deck a little bit more. So I can put that over there, just to kind of have it there. Primal Turbo, that's there, kind of just to have it there. And then we Combustion Blast for the knockout. And then we'll take our prize. It's a quick ball. And then the game-winning play is to Amazing Shot the Lugia with Raikou. But I guess if Trevor has a boss's orders in his hand, he can win by not presenting the Lugia because he can... If he can take out an Archeops, he's got two powerful colorless in play and one in the discard pile. All right, so he cannot take out Archeops with an Archeops, which is big because that would be how he would win, right? If he knocked out my Archeops with his Archeops, that would like do it. But I think that So long as I kind of just like hang here in this space, I'm okay. I don't need to find Aurora energy or anything um, because I can just charge them both into play. Oh, but if he gusted, if he, if he were able to knock out my Archeops with his Archeops, but he cannot because he's got three powerful colorless energy accounted for already. So, it's crazy how grindy this match is getting. It looks like he might just have to attack with the Lugia. And he says, my hand is too energy clogged. Couldn't draw with Biberel. Has to present the Lugia V-Star. And I have got the perfect answer in my hand. And what's funny is the Biberel, it's so good, but it also is a liability at 120 hit points. Perfect for an amazing shot. Trevor's got this Lugia. We'll be able to send my Charizard to the Lost Zone, can bring up Archeops, actually, and knock it out with the boss's order. So he has it. He is going to force me to find what I need. Okay, so it's not super easy. There's Crobat. Here's Raikou. I think I've got... It's like we don't want a Primal Turbo first. So let's Quick Ball away the Collapse Stadium. See what the energy situation is. We've got four outs in the deck. So I don't think... So long as I don't draw into three... I win. Right? Right. Very good. I'm going to quick ball away the Stoutland. Do this. And then here we go. Crobat V. I need to not draw into three of my energy. And we've got the one for Amazing Raikou. Perfect. Primal Turbo. And this game is a wrap. Amazing shot. For my final three prizes, even if the Lugia wasn't in the active, I have Serena anyways. 
GG's Trevor will knock out your Lugia and your Biberel for three prize cards. Raikou taking the game. GG's. That about wraps it up for Lugia V-Star. Thank you so much for watching the video. If you like the video, make sure to subscribe to the channel. I'm almost at 100,000 subscribers, but I'm not there yet. And I can only get there with your help. So if you, uh, yeah, click the sub button, that would be sick. Thank you so much for watching. Y'all have a busted day. See ya.